a motherfucking spoken word poem that y'all need to motherfucking hear, okay? There is a runoff election coming up here in Austin for mayor. Make sure you know if you're aware of the runoff election for mayor. Make some noise if you're voting for the only candidate who represents us. motherfucking states presenting a spoken word poem, Sweet Gwendolyn. Woo! Hi. Hey! So, in addition to being Sweet Gwendolyn, I am also a trans guy drag queen named Debbie Penetration. Woo! And I look forward to returning to Vanguard Hi. and uh, doing some fun artistic and political drag yes. we'll sync routines Please. for you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but tonight I am going to read Zoe Leonard's AIDS era poem, I Want a Dyke for President. Woo. And, and then I'm going to talk afterwards about how we can try and make this a reality on the local level. Here we go. Okay. I want a dyke for president. I want a person with AIDS yes. for president. Yes. And I want a fag for a vice president. Yes. I want someone with no health insurance. Yeah. And I want someone who grew up in a place where the earth is so saturated with toxic waste that they didn't have a choice about getting leukemia. Yeah. I want a president who had an abortion at 16. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want a candidate who isn't the lesser of two evils. Yes! Okay. And I want a president who lost their last lover to AIDS. Preach. Who still sees that in their eyes every time they lay down to rest. Wow. Who held their lover in their arms and knew that they were dying. Ooh. I want a president with no air conditioning. <laughs> a president who has stood online at the clinic at the DMV, yeah. at the welfare office, yeah. and has been unemployed and laid off and mm. sexually harassed yeah. and gay bashed yes. and deported. Yes. I want someone who has spent the night in the tombs and had a cross burnt on their lawn wow. yes. and survived rape. Yes. Yes. I want someone who has been in love and been hurt. Mm. Someone who respects sex yeah. and who has made mistakes and learned from them. Yes. I want a black woman for president. Someone who has eaten hospital food, someone with bad teeth, someone who cross-dresses, has done drugs, and has been in therapy. I want someone who has committed civil disobedience. And I want to know why this isn't possible. I want to know why we started learning somewhere down the line that a president is always a clown, mm. always a John and never a work hooker, yeah. Al always a boss and never a worker, yeah. always a liar, always a thief, yeah. and never caught. Yeah. There is currently a runoff election for mayor right now. This week is early voting and election day is on Tuesday. Uh -huh. And the candidate I would like to call your attention to is Celia Israel. Yeah! She is a queer Latina. And just to be very clear, she is not a politician who just happens to be gay. She is a queer person yeah. who deliberately ran for office yeah! on purpose. Yeah! to represent the most marginalized among us. Nice. Nice. And it's probably always an urgent matter that we have someone who is looking out for our interests in office. Yeah. But as many of you know, probably most of us know, that the Texas legislative season starts in January. No. And they are coming for all of us. They are coming for women, they are coming for minorities, they are calling, coming for queer people, and they are especially coming for trans people. Yes. yes! Now the first and best line of defense against horrible state laws is having people on your side in local power. Right. Yeah. They can refuse to enact bad laws, yeah. and they can create new laws yeah. to help 
try to counteract the state laws. So I encourage all of you to cast your ballots in a manner that will help preserve queer and trans life. Yes. And remember, if your vote didn't matter, they would not try so hard to keep you from voting. That's right! Thank you. That's Thank you, thank you, thank you.